Happy July 4th, America. Uh, it's uh, Tuesday, it's uh, 10 minutes before 9 a.m. Eastern, so trading in Canada will be open in uh, 40 minutes. Uh, I believe U.S. markets are closed. Uh, as you can tell, oil didn't stop for Canada's Canada Day uh, holiday yesterday on Monday, and it's not going to stop for 4th of July either. Um, we've been climbing steadily uh, all, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just non-stop uh, since since news last week, uh, basically it's been inching upward. It's paused and, and stabilized a little bit, um, but almost no retreat and full bore ahead. Um, as you may remember, I did have a short buy order at 46 and a half on Friday, but we didn't quite make it there. Um, it looks like we're gonna be opening near 47 today. So I'm gonna be looking to buy short again. Um, that purchase, um, if successful, will put me in a short bias. Right now I'm kind of I'm split basically 50-50 long and short. So my uh, unrealized portfolio is basically unchanging regardless of what happens to oil at this point. Um, so with this additional short purchase, I'm going to be going um, short bias, meaning I now feel that there is more downward pressure than there is upward pressure. Of course, I could be very, very wrong. Um, again, <laughs> but uh, time will tell. Um, I'm not necessarily, you know, believing that we're going to go down right away. Um, but basically, this price makes sense for me to add to my short portfolio. Um, that being said, I'm holding a long from 46 and a half, and I'm not prepared to sell that just yet. So if we drop, and I'm still holding that long, so be it. Um, but if we go up, um, I'll be looking for a target of at least 47 and a half um, or higher you know, 48 would be really nice um, to sell that long position and then if we go higher than that still I'll buy short again um, above 48 or 48 ish I guess so we'll see how that plays out but that's kind of uh, the game plan if we look at the uh, one day chart here we can see you know this is uh, at the beginning of your on the left hand side of the screen here this is um, February, um, March, that's where we started this initial um, downturn and this wave pattern started to develop. So everybody's, you know, everybody in, is seeing what I'm seeing here um, and this wave pattern developing. So if you look at this wave pattern, it certainly, you know, suggests that we might be going back up to, re, you know, to 49, 50-ish to repeat this sort of wave pattern. Um, my personal feeling is that we're not going to get anywhere close to those numbers. Um, keep in mind that I'm holding a long position from 52, so I don't say this with any sort of bias, that the fact that I don't believe is we're going to get that high, um, it sucks for that position. Um, but I actually think that we're going to bounce around in these mid-lower 40s um, for some time. Uh, we did that early this year, uh, where we kind of bounced around between um, the mid 50s and uh, and lower 50s, and I think that's what's that's what we're going to get this summer um, in the 40s, kind of mid 40s to lower 40s. So um, I and that's why I'm basically adding to my short positions because I think that we're going to revisit 42, maybe even 40. Um, and of course, that's very contrarian uh, given the bullishness that we've seen over the past. Um, Geez, how many days is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you count today, that's ninth, ninth green day in a row, um, which is quite unprecedented. Um, so I'm sure I'm not the only person who's looking at this and um, you know interested in going short. So there's going to be a lot of short interest, and we'll see how it plays out. Um, it's going to be a relatively interesting day, I think. Um, more than likely quiet-ish. Um, because North America, uh, because U.S. specifically is um, on holiday, but we'll see. So that's my game plan. I'll check back with you guys at the end of trading. Um, markets open here in Canada in 45 or 35 minutes, and uh, yeah, good luck. Uh, use the comments down below on uh, YouTube. Love to hear what you guys have planned, uh, or over on TradingJournal.ca where you can fi find more details about my portfolio and trades and charts, etc. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys uh, later today. Cheers.